Kofi Annan continues his attempts to broker peace. The number of dead in Kenya's ethnic violence is only continuing to rise. Yes, the main flashpoints now are in the Rift Valley in the town of Naivasha. Up to 20 people are thought to have been burned to death in their own homes. And in nearby Nakuru, at least 60 have died in the last few days. Our correspondent Mohamed Ado has visited the region and he sent us this report. Bonfires and blockades. The violence is spreading. This is Naivasha, 100 kilometers west of Nairobi. Armed gangs from opposing ethnic groups clashed in the town, causing the now too familiar devastation. Flying above Naivasha, we saw blocked roads and most of the town was deserted. Police engaged gangs in running battles as soldiers struggled to remove the roadblocks. There was little traffic on the Nairobi Naivasha Highway one of the country's major arteries. In nearby Nakuru, the lawlessness continues. Houses continue to be torched as armed youth run amok. The displaced, frightened and desolate seek protection. Here, hundreds of families have sought refuge in a charge. It cannot accommodate them all and many have to live in the open. The Kenya army deployed to quell the violence tries to help some of the displaced get away from the misery. We are in Afraha Stadium in Nakuru, which is home to thousands of people displaced from their homes. They have with them the little they managed to salvage from their destroyed houses. And here, those who have just arrived are queuing to register. They will have to do so or else they don't get any help. Rose Hamoye is lucky to be alive. Her home was destroyed by armed gangs who killed some of her neighbors. Banga. They came with machetes and were slashing people to death. I saw a schoolboy, his head was split in two. They were burning the houses of those that they killed. We've seen horrors here. The displaced are well guarded in the stadium, but it's all they have. They have little to eat and no shelter from the rains and cold nights. This woman says she has had nothing to eat the whole day. We cannot go out to buy any food and we consumed all we had. We just need to be taken away from here to our rural homes, she said. And the government is struggling to bring the bloodshed to an end. We caught up with the Rift Valley Provincial Commissioner just before he embarked on another aerial survey of the situation. The situation is tense in the town here, Nakuru, but the outskirts we have been able to maintain the security and the things will, be, will cool down. Of course, things are tense, but I'm sure we'll be able to overcome it. And as the violence continues, the displaced in Nakuru are too afraid to go home. Some say they will wait here for calm to return. But for others, what they have just witnessed is just too harrowing, and they say they just want a safe passage out of the town. Mohamed Ado Al Jazeera, Nakuru, Kenya.